Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are jumping right in and we are fixing my past mistakes. So I painted that hutch back there. It is beautiful. I love it. However, I made a mistake. When I went in to do touch up paint and put on a final coat on the whole thing, oh my gosh, I did not mix my paint. <laughs> And you can absolutely see the difference. So when paint settles, a lot of the colors are down at the bottom. And if you don't mix that in really, really well, you are not going to have that same vibrant color. So this is supposed to be like black, black like tricorn black. And it is not because a lot of the, it's not sediment, I don't know exactly what it's called, but a lot of the elements that make the paint dark all settled to the bottom and were not mixed throughout. So what happened was I had a one of these filled with paint and I thought I'll just go in tomorrow and touch up. I put my saran wrap over it to keep the paint fresh and from drying out, but I did not use a stir stick. I just kind of took my brush, did a little do 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 do, and that's not enough. When you need to reuse paint, it's okay to store your paint, obviously, but it is not okay to not stir it really, really well. So I've got lots of paint sticks. In fact, I just keep these on hand all the time. And this is the same paint that I had used um, in my last bedroom makeover. I painted a cabinet and I also painted the bottom of that desk uh, makeover that I did. That desk thrift, that thrift, the thrifted desk flip. <laughs> I used this paint at the bottom. This is tricorn black. It is cabinet and furniture in satin. And this is the exact same color. It's my favorite color. It is the deepest, darkest black. And I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and what we're doing is we're repainting this hutch. We are touching up some of these chairs here. Because in most lights you can't really tell. But... <laughs> When you kind of go sideways, you can really, really see. And I had just gone in and I did some feather painting. And yeah, this is obviously not the same color as this. And when you are looking at it dead on, you really can't tell too much. But now look at that. When the light shines on it just right, this is the same one. See how you can't really tell? Well, the thing is, I didn't even realize until after the fact. So, we need to go in, touch everything back up, make it all very crisp black. But this is not a vibrant black. If you look at it, there is such a gray, bluish tone to it. And I want to get rid of that. I want it all to be black. And like this side right here, I love that the wood grain still shows in there. So a couple things we're going to do. I need to touch this up, obviously. And you know what? The whole thing is going to get a fresh paint. Um, all of the chairs I will go through and touch up. And then if you look through... The balance is off. In the last bedroom makeover I did, I took some of the furniture. We had a bench here with some pillows, and then here I had a bookcase. The balance is off because we've got a table over here. This looks busy with a full picture, a big picture. And what I just wanna do is flip those over. I'm gonna move the table over here. We're gonna figure out maybe that chair will move over here, but the balance is off and I want to see if I can kind of, with using the things that we have, I want to see if I can kind of fix that. I've got my paint here. I'm going to stir the crap out of this. <laughs> Make sure that it is very well blended. I only have about three fourths of this really small can. I'm not sure that that is going to be enough. If not, we'll just make a trip to Lowe's and grab a can of that. But yeah, let's get going.
Most of the hardware is off. I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about. But look at one of the filigree on this back plate. I have to put this back on. We'll figure out the best way to do that, but that definitely is gonna need to be fixed. But these back plates here, so the knobs go right in here, but I'm wondering if I stuck these on and then screwed them in really tight when the paint was still wet and that's why they're like, they're not budging. So I think I'm gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver, see if I can kind of pry these out and then we'll go from there. But this is one of those projects that isn't like an, oh wow, that looks so much better. It's one of those things that it's just been on my to-do list for a long time. I've wanted to just knock it out so that's kind of what I am going to do, but it isn't one of those satisfying projects when you see it done, it'll just make me feel better. We've gone ahead, we've protected the floor all the way around here, and then we've protected the table as well. I'm not getting the inside of everything. You can see, I didn't get the inside of everything before. You don't see any of that. I am for now going to keep the inside this color Maybe down the road, I would love to sand this out, make it a little bit more of a, I don't know, cooler brown instead of this orangey kind of stain. But for now, this is what it is and I'm, I'm happy with it. I think for the most part, it looks really pretty. I would just like that, uh, the stain on the inside, the wood, just a little bit more of a brown rich, like a chocolatey brown, I think would look beautiful and amazing. But that is for another time, another day, another project. Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and get everything repainted to a black black and call it a day. One less thing on my to-do list. Kai is playing down here. Is that your ball? <laughs> is that your ball? We got Shark Week going on here. I'm working over here. It's gonna be a good day. Success, I was able to pop these off. I just used this. What I love about this right here is that it is very conducive <laughs> to covering really quickly and easily, but this, it holds your paintbrush so that it is like hands-free. I love that. See, so convenient. And then whatever I have left, obviously, we can just put right back into the can. All right, we've done back there, all of this here. You can kind of see that color difference between this and this, and this will just get darker. But this, you can see, it's very grayish. So, what I'm really trying to do is just make sure that there are no drip marks and that I am feathering in the lines as much as I can. But yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. It's the subtle changes <laughs> like this that make a huge difference. Okay, we've got all of the base painted. You can see I still have the drawers, I still have the doors, but the base, the trims around all of the filigree here, 
all of that has been painted and you can really see the difference in color of the doors and the well right here you can see the drawers so we're gonna get those painted but yeah I forgot how hard it not hard just time consuming to make sure that you you know really get into there make sure there are no drips kind of going back over but I kind of feel like the hard part the big part is done I did consider taping off these doors so that I don't get anything on the glass, but I think I'm just going to be like uber careful and just go with a straight hand. I might change my mind on that just because my arms are a little bit sore. So we'll decide, but I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then I'm really hoping that in the camera you can see the difference between the black, what I've just painted, and what it was before. Because I think it's a really big difference. I think it's going to look awesome. I'm going to go ahead and tackle the drawer fronts and the doors, these doors down here. I wanted to wait for those until the very end, just because I'm gonna be standing here and I didn't wanna brush up against them. But I kinda of don't want to waste this paint and I don't want it to sit here for that much longer. I also don't wanna take the time to cover it. So I wanna use it before, you know, it goes bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead, we're gonna roll on there. We're gonna do some rolling on these doors and then I'll just take the brush, go around the edges let those dry for just a few then we're going to tackle the doors and i'll decide <laughs> if i want to use tape or if i want and then just go for it or if i want to freehand we'll see We are all painted up. I am going to let everything dry. So it's gonna be another hour or so, and you can see it is super wet. I just finished that one door there, but I hand painted all of the doors. I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't get any on the glass, so yay for that. If I have any really bad drip marks, which I tried really hard not to do, I don't see any at a cursory glance, then we can always sand them off, paint it again. Um, but I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I just cleaned off this table. I took the glass out, cleaned the glass, cleaned in the little crevices. So this is ready to go. My plan is to put it right here. I have this tree here. I'm thinking it'll fit better there. We'll move this over here. Let's just try, you never know. that wheat on top. Damn it. Looks like it's been, it broke right at the solder. So we were moving furniture. Rob was trying to <laughs> help fix a lamp that was right here. I'll show you in a minute. But this turned out to be a little bit of a happy accident <laughs> because I love how it looks back there. 
So we had moved this table, was on the other side of the hutch. Simplified, I love that. And all we did was use furniture from other places. We've got glue on it, it just snapped off. He was trying to tighten the bottom and it just snapped off right there. So I'm thinking that this right here, this lamp, might look really good right there. And then we took the two lamps, one here and one here, and we took those from this area over here, and Rob is just setting up some things. <laughs> we just had stuff kind of everywhere. But, well, we took one of the lamps here and one was here, and this is where we're at right now. So we're gonna have to re, fresh this area we're gonna have to refresh that area over there but i'm not gonna lie i'm not mad about it because i do love the way this looks that table right there was by the front door so like i said we'll refigure that out but for now this is what we've got and i'm loving it it is the next morning and oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I love how that's come out. We have rearranged back here, cleaned it up just a little bit, simplified I think, and I love the way it looks. We had that really big tree right here. So I've got rid of the tree. Oh, I didn't get rid of it. <laughs> a lot of the things that we don't use ends up in our guest room, but that's okay. That's, it's there for now. It just, it opens up this space. It cleans it up a whole lot. And I love the way that looks. So what happens now though, is that this, since we took this piece, from right here. I'm actually, in the next week or two, I'm gonna look for maybe a small little bench with so that I can have some pillows on and then have underneath some shoe storage. I think that will be really cool. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely share when that gets done, but I, I'm hoping it can be something that I thrift and maybe DIY and makeover flip maybe, we'll see. But now, this area <laughs> is open and I need to do something with that. Also need to clean up this area. So this will be its own project. This area, however, I am loving. Now, for the paint, this came out absolutely gorgeous i love it so 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 much so pretty all the detail looks wonderful and it is black black and i love that This was that broken piece of hardware. So I went ahead and I glued it. So that looks wonderful. Here is the lamp that <laughs> Rob broke. We glued it. This is a bummer. We used Gorilla Glue, which I love, but we used way too much on there. But Gorilla Glue is absolutely the best. But all we have to do is spin it around and it looks really good from this side. I will darken that. I can also paint that with a little bit of the super dark brown, maybe even black and it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put right there, I've got the shade. We'll put that up and I think what I'll do is put it by the front door. I don't love it. I'd rather it be blank. And then we painted all the chairs and I think they look really good, however, I want the chairs to be a little shinier. And I think what I'll do is just put like a clear coat 
with a semi-gloss finish and I think that will fix that problem all together. But all in all, I think they came out great. I think the Hutch looks absolutely amazing. I love how simplified this whole area back here is now. So I am a very happy camper. This was something that had been on my to-do list forever because it isn't one of those like big bang for your buck moments <laughs> where you turn around and you look and you've got that like really big before and after but just knowing that it is darker I think it looks awesome and I'm very happy that it's done again it's one of those things that I now can just check right off my to-do list the chairs will now becomes something that goes on the to-do list. <laughs> I'm gonna have so well technically I just didn't check them off. I will take some spray paint, um, or not spray paint, but clear coat, and I'm gonna do a semi-gloss, and I think that will fix these up so that I will love them as much as I love the hutch, but I think it came out great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. If you have not subscribed, I would love it if you did, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications so you know when the next video is up. I'll see you soon. Bye.